Creating content takes time. We only have 86,000 seconds in a day, so we've got to make the most of them. I recently set out on a journey, a journey to answer the age old question, can we make videos faster? Because one of the most common comments that I get on my channel are from creators who don't have enough time. Over the past 10 years, I have created thousands of videos, spanning different types of clients and workflows. All of this helped me figure out how to get more efficient at creating content. But this was not without obstacles. Time and time again, I have experienced burnout. But I'm here today to let you know that there is a way to save time. Get ready and lean in because I'm about to share some power packed practical tips. First things first, in order to save time, you've got to plan. Just 10 minutes of planning can save hours of work. To save time, I recommend scripting your videos or at least coming up with an outline. I like to treat my videos a little bit like a five paragraph essay. I'll have a thesis, some supporting points, and a conclusion. Also, try using voice to text to help you quickly get your thoughts out. When it comes to filming, I recommend creating a set that you can leave up or quickly recreate. Take time up front to figure out your camera angle, lighting, settings, and make it repeatable. While editing, watch the audio waveform so you can easily tell where you start and stop talking. Also, try editing with a faster playback speed. Create video structures to take the guesswork out of your edits. And if you have commonly used assets like text effects, logos, or footage, get organized and place them in an easy to access place. Picking music can be a time consuming part of the editing process. But thanks to today's sponsor, Soundstripe, it doesn't have to be. They have great filter tools to help you quickly select the right track that you can legally license on your projects. Also, instead of listening to the radio, Spotify, or a podcast, throughout the day when you're doing ordinary tasks, try listening to your music licensing platform. This way, when you hear a song you like, you can save it to a custom playlist to save time later in the edit. Also, this can spark inspiration for brand new video ideas. And the mega tip is that you can multiply all of your efforts by batch creating. Come up with three to five video ideas plan them all, shoot them all, and edit them all. You'll find yourself saving tons of time and getting much more efficient at outputting videos. So, all of these tips helped save me time, but I found that I still wasn't as fast at creating as I wanted to be. In fact, I was feeling burnt out. I was feeling exhausted, depleted. I was technically more efficient, but for some reason, my output wasn't changing. I was actually slower than before. It was as if time slowed down and the seconds were slipping away. How could this be? Well, it was my emotions. As a creative, I was playing the comparison game and chasing perfection. This was making me second guess everything I was creating while believing the lie that I wasn't good enough. This was paralyzing my workflow. I would get 90% of the video done just to spend over twice as long on the final 10%. Second guessing everything. Something had to change. It was at this moment I decided to buckle down and get serious. Culture today will tell you to listen to your feelings and to follow your heart. But what I've learned is that's actually horrible advice. See, the heart is deceitful above all things. So I decided to stop being a slave to my feelings and instead take massive action because choices lead and feelings follow. So I made a shift. I started placing value over vanity. Rather than focusing on the views and the hypothetical opinions of others, I started to focus on how I could add value to other people. I found purpose in serving others. I stopped despising the days of small beginnings. Because everyone starts somewhere. 
and I started to give myself non-negotiable deadlines. Being okay to release things even though I didn't think they were perfect. Once I did this, I was able to break through and start creating videos faster, outputting more, and this ultimately grew my channel and ultimately has changed our lives. And here's the awesome thing, you can do this too. It all comes down to your why. Why did you start creating videos? Why are you a content creator? If your why is just to make money, you'll never be able to make enough of it. If your why is to get a bunch of followers and have a bunch of clout and is based upon the opinions of others, well, opinions can change. But if your why is focused on how you can add value, it gives you a purpose that will sustain you. So how do you save time and create videos faster? You focus on sharpening your skills, you remember why you're doing it and who you're doing it for and you choose to take massive action and hit publish. It's great to know how to make videos fast, but it can be difficult when you don't even know what to make them about. That's why I'm gonna help you jumpstart your creativity with 20 relevant video ideas, which I'll share if you continue on to this video here. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. Peace.